The Customs and Quarantine K-9 Unit has recruited six special dogs to help with the eradication of the coconut rhinoceros beetle. Thanks to funding from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Officer John Pangolinan says Customs was able to fly out to Georgia and handpick these canines for the rhino beetle pilot program. We got these dogs in Atlanta, Georgia, or the state of Georgia. Some of them came from animal control, some of them came from humane societies, some of them were donated by vendors. These dogs came off the street and they had a few days to live. So we rescued them for this program. Pangolinan says the dogs will climatize for three weeks and then will undergo pre-training for another six weeks. He also says the canines have met a special criteria that may allow them to detect rhino beetle larvae. Customs is focusing on the larvae because it's the way to control the population of this invasive species. Pangolinan adds this pilot program is important because dogs can detect things humans can't. The dogs could use their nose, just like how they use their nose to detect drugs, you know, agriculture products. They use their nose to find these and it takes, it's faster, way faster than manually going out there and looking for it. And while this kind of detection has never been done before, Pangolinan believes it can work. I think this is going to work. I mean, they have dogs that detect mold, uh, bed bugs, all kinds, gas leaks, cancer. This will work. I believe it will work. It's just going to take time.